Welcome to understanding liquid liquid extraction separation. So, first of all, we need to understand what is liquid liquid extraction. So, as the name suggests, the extraction goes on between two liquids. So, for absorption examples, we um, referred to gas feed rate and liquid feed rates and we were extracting the needed component from the gas feed rate into the solvent but this time there are two liquids and those two liquids both have three components that is where the challenge comes and that is why we use the ternary diagram which is the triangle diagram we use for liquid-liquid extraction. So first of all, we need to nominate our flows. So basically, liquid-liquid extraction most often is used for mixer and separators. It's used in mixers and separators. So feed comes in and solvent comes in and is mixed really well and after that they go to the separator and this separates the feed which is mixed with the solvent to roughenate and extract. Extract is the one that extracted the uh, main component into the extracting and roughenate is the one with depleted components. Okay, so soluble component is called the solute and the solute moves from one liquid to another and there are two liquid phases basically we are concerned with the raffinate and the extract these two must be either immiscible or partially immiscible to each other so the liquid liquid extraction usually goes um, to continuous process. The first is for one stage reaction, one stage process and the other is column and single stage continuous extraction uses mixers and settlers. After each mixer there's a there should be a settler and continuous extraction with the column uses rotating disc contactor and it usually has either agitator or stator disc. So this is the diagram for the separator, for the liquid-liquid extraction. So the two liquids go countercurrently. Feed comes in with the needed solute to extract and goes down as raffinate without the A component. A component is the solute. And solvent goes from the bottom of the column and extracts the A and goes out from the tower as an extract. So this is our example that we need to solve. This is the example that we need to solve. This is the liquid-liquid extraction first example. Let me read the problem statement. Raffinate and extract mixtures contain both three compounds A, B, and C. Raffinate and extract is mixed in the ratio 1 to 2, respectively. This ternary system has no miscibility gap so that all compounds are completely soluble to each other. The R composition is given XAR is 0.7, XBR is 0.2. E composition is given, XAE is 0.1, XBE is 0.5. So the first um, thing that we need to determine is to determine the points E and R on the ternary diagram and also find XE, XCE and XCR. So what is XCE and XCR? This is very easy, we just need to um, we just need to what 
What do you call it? We just need to subtract from 100% the 70 and 20% because all of these um, three components are making the R composition. So this must be 1 minus 0 0.7 minus 0 0.2. So this is going to be 0 0.1. So XCR is 0 0.1. So what is XCE? We use the same principle. 1 minus 0 0.1 minus 0 0.5 is going to be 0 0.4. Now we find the points R and E. So let's find the point R in the ternary diagram. So the ternary diagram looks something like this. And A is on this side, C is on this side, and B is on this side. So let's find R. So R is XAR is 0 0.7. So let's find XAR 0 0.7. So A is over here and 0 0.7 is over here. And how do we know which way to go? There are two ways to go, this way and this way. How do we know which way to go? We simply take this into account, the A point, uh, the opposite of the A point is, A angle is this. So we go by the opposite side of the A angle. So we go like this. Okay, what is XBR? XBR is B is over here, 0 0.2 is over here. And how do we know which way to go? We have two ways to go. And we simply take into account the B angle. And the opposite of B angle, the side is over here. So we have to go like this. So we go like this. And we see the R point. Actually, only two points are needed in order to determine the points on the ternary diagram. Okay, let's find the E point. E point is already found, but we can do it again. So XAE is 0 0.1. 0 0.1 is over here. So the opposite of the A angle is here, so we go parallel to the parallel to this so we go here and XBE is a 0 0.5 so it's over here and opposite of the B angle is uh, this line and this line must par be parallel to this so we find E So the problem also asks us to find the mixing point M. We use information from the problem statement, R and E is mixed in the ratio 1 over 2 respectively. So we can say that R over E is 1 over 2. And we can assume that R is equal to 0 0.5 and E is equal to 1. So mixing point it will be equal to 1.5 because, as you know, raffinate and extract are going to be mixed and so the problem also asks us to find the mixing point and from the problem statement we already know that R and E is mixed in the ratio 1 over 2 so we can write it as like so and we can assume that R is equal to 0 0.5, E equals to 1, and therefore M will be equal to 1.5 because uh, the flow sheet looks like this, so M equals to R plus E. So for mass balances we can say that R plus E equals to M. Also we can transfer it into mole fraction mass balances. For component C, we can say that R times XCR equals plus E times XCE equals to M times XCM. 
and we already know what is R, what is XCR and E and XCE and we also know M so we can find XCM which turned out to be 0 0.3 for component A we can say that R times XAR plus E times XAE equals to M times XAM and we also know this, 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 this and this so XAM is equal to 0 0.3 and from here we can deduce that XBM is equal to 1 minus 0 0.3 minus 0 0.3 so XBM is equal to 0 0.4 now let's draw our M point. So our M point is XAM is 0 0.3. So let's find our XAM. 0 0.3 is here and we see opposite of A is this and this must be parallel. And let's see what is XCM. C is over here. C is 0 0.3, 0 0.3 is over here, and opposite of C angle is this, and this must be parallel. So now we find the point M. And when we actually uh, use a ruler and um, measure this distance and measure this distance, this distance is actually um, half the distance between here. So we could also have found from the distances on the diagram as well.